While many celebrated as Donald Trump was announced as the new president of the United States, others woke up terrified about an uncertain future. One local attorney from Brownsville says everyone needs to learn about their rights. CBS 4's Tiffany Huertas is here with more on that. Tiffany. Marcy, throughout the campaign, President-elect Trump was very vocal about his intentions to deport those living in the country who have entered illegally. Today, emotions run high, particularly among people living here on the border. Despite being undocumented, Antonia Hernandez has never left her daughter's side. If she gets deported, I'm, not, I'm never going to see her anymore. Antonia is left wondering what's in store for not only her daughter, but future generations. I'm not graduated, but yeah. Like, I'm a single mom. Okay. So, yeah. I had to drop out. 20 year old Melissa Hernandez, who's lived along the border all her life, is now preparing for all possibilities. After Donald Trump was elected president, his immigration views has some people concerned and confused. Even though Mr. Trump has said that he was going to remove everyone, I can tell you that right now there's laws in place that would not allow him to do that. Um, he would have to change many things. Immigration attorney Jaime Diaz says if you have been in the United States for a while, don't fear just yet. If you have no family, you were arrested and you're given the choice to go back to Mexico, well take that choice because it's a good choice. But if you've been here for a long time, your children are in school or you have a house here, your husband, you know, you need to, to ask to go and see an immigration judge. While some residents living on the border don't agree with the results, they are hopeful. Dios es el que manda, Dios es el que tiene la última palabra. Pues el futuro va a seguir igual. Simplemente para mí fue un fraude, es un show que hicieron. Families like the Hernandez hope their family does not get split up on opposite sides of the border. Antonia wants to see her grandchild grow up. I would like to see him, you know, go to school, all this stuff, you know. Uh. Attorney Diaz says if you have any questions, seek legal help. In the studio, Tiffany Huerta, CBS4News and ValleyCentral.com.